Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Well, it's Tinter Tum Tuesday again, it's coming round quicker, faster than ever. So today what have we got for you but a simple stir fry. We've got a chicken stir fry, so we've got chicken garlic. We've got the stir fry which we're just going to chuck in, so that's all the oriental style vegetables. We've got a bit of quinoa, rice and veg as well. Noodles, we've got onions, we've got the sauce which is sweet and sour which we've gone for this week. And a bit of the salt and pepper and a bit of oil so today we're going to do it in the paella pan and i want to say a massive thank you today for a secret subscriber and i've got a beautiful top to wear so if you're interested in seeing this oriental stir fry with chicken then join us after this <laughs> So here we are, thank you for coming back. Chicken stir fry. We've got enough here, quantity wise, for four people. I'm not gonna be using all the ingredients. I'll probably use one onion. I'll probably use a couple, couple of cloves of garlic or bulbs as I like, but we'll see how that goes. I've got 600 grams of chicken. I've got two packets of the sauce. I've bought two of these. I don't know if I'll use them all. I've also got the two packets of noodles, which are ready to just throw in. With it all together but today it's just a one pot wonder so nice and quick and easy everything's all here cook the chicken cook the veg whack it all together bit of sauce on jobs are good un. so let's get this fired up so first things first all i'm going to do heat a little bit of oil in the pan the chicken i've already bought diced chicken but to be fair However you want to do it yourself, that's totally fine. Dice it, cube it, slice it, however you want to do it, if you buy it in the breast or if you're going for the dark meat, i.e. the thigh or the uh, the leg. It's entirely up to you what, what cut of meat you want. I've even used pork and things like that in the past, so that's absolutely fine. So let's get brown in the chicken and then we can start with some of the vegetables as well. So really because the only fresh ingredients that we're really going to be using today is the garlic and the onion, everything else is packeted up. That's just going to go in the pot as a bit of a one pot wonder, making it quick and simple outside. Like I say, using the paella pan, nice deep sides so I can just keep it all in together. I can give it a good mix up and I can give it a good stir around because of those edges on it. So let's get this chicken browning. So all you're looking for here is a nice warm pan. You don't want it smoky hot. You just want a little bit of heat, a little bit of oil in it, just to get it just started. And then what I'm gonna do, add the chicken and give it a season in the pan. So there we go, I've got that in. The chicken's obviously taking a little bit of heat out the pan, which is nice because you don't want it too hot. Um, that'll just nicely cook away now, brown up, and then we can chuck all the other ingredients in. And we're all sorted. So there we go, the chicken's getting a nice bit of colour. So whilst that is doing that, I'll take a clean knife. Let's get some garlic in there. Get a couple of nice big cloves. Right, there's no need to peel these. All you need to do, whack them in here, self-peeling. Do it all itself. Make sure you do get it into the uh, the chicken itself as soon as you press it in. And give it a nice scrape to get any remnants. 
just off the garlic itself. Two's enough because I'm cooking for guests, otherwise I'd probably go for all of this. So we'll leave it like that for now, but shh, don't tell Karina. We've got an escapee. Quickly again, just whilst that's cooking away. Just put a little bit more oil in. Just toss it around to take up all the flavours for the seasoning and the garlic so it doesn't overly burn. So, let's quickly sort an onion out. You've seen me finely chopping onions before. This time, because of the ingredients, I'm going rustic. Nice big pieces of onion, because they'll cook at the same time with the packets that are going in. So quite simply, let's go the same as what everything else is. Down the middle, and that will do. So let's get that fired in as well. going to knock the heat down a little bit. I have had it on high all this time just to get the chicken browned up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, the vegetable stir fry. Just do this a little bit at a time just so you can get an eye for how much you're actually using. Super. What I'm going to do is just let that Wilt down with the chicken. I'm going to get a little bit of water just to help that along. And this is why it's a one pot wonder. Stand by, get some water. A little bit of Asda's finest. Other brands are available. And all that is, that was literally, probably, well, you saw how much was in there. So I probably used half a glassful just to give it so it steams and freshens the, the veg up. So it just nicely crisps it up. I'm gonna go for a little bit of the quinoa. And again, now just wait. For it to all come together. I'm going to put that in though as well. So again, just eyeball it as to how much quantity wise that you need to feed however many people, two, three, four, ten, you can, you can get a feel for how much you want to eat and how hungry you are. The first bag's wilted down slightly. So all I need to do now is get this warmed up and get it all together.
ready for a bit of sauce and a few noodles. Because of the quantity of this one obviously 600 grams of chicken two packets of the vegetables the little bits that i've added i'm going for two packets of sauce whereas normally you'd be able to get away with one So make sure you get it back up to heat again so it's nice and sizzling away everything's cooked through the last one or two minutes i'm just going to whack these ready to wok medium noodles on you can use all sorts of different ones if you want there is sort of like vermicelli style ones there are the large egg noodles however you want to do it but uh, this is what we had in our local supermarket so this is what we're using and now that that's been simmering away for a little while last few minutes what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the noodles and uh, it says one to two minutes i like to give it a little bit longer that's simmering away nicely i'm going to add a touch more garlic don't tell anyone because i'm not getting the the hit that i want of the garlic so i'm going to go with one more fairly big size Again, the old trusty press. So I've got that mixed in. And now I'm just gonna simply add the noodles. Just going to go for three bags, I think. That's enough for us, so get it mixed in, get all the sauces and the juice and everything all mixed in together, and then lid back on the last couple of minutes just to finish it off. Just going to let that simmer for the last couple of minutes as you can see there i've just made a mess of my pants it's all flicked back so here's a good time for me to ask would you be interested in seeing a tin to tum apron if i had an apron on what do you think in the description below let us know if you'd be interested in that because i think i might be So there you go there you have it it's as simple as that the noodles now are beautifully cooked they've soaked up all the other juice that was in there that had obviously come out from all the vegetables and the meat so now the pan's almost dry it's got a nice heat through it the noodles have puffed up slightly and it's ready to serve so and without further ado we shall show you
final dish. So, time for the final test. Oof. Oof. Need a bit of it all. Bit of a bean, bit of chicken. You ready? Bit warm. As always, a success. Right, time to eat. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.